Podcasting 101 with me, your host, Rachel. This podcast is for female business owners and solopreneurs that are looking to start a podcast to add to your own already awesome offering. I'll give you helpful advice that you can take away and use in your podcasting journey. I hope to answer those tricky questions that just keep you from starting. Once a month, I'll be joined by other female podcasters. They'll share their journey with you and offer tips and advice they discovered along the way. Let's get started. Hi, and welcome to the show. And this week, I have decided to start recording a video podcast. Um, Obviously, for those of you who are just listening on audio, um, nothing will change here. But um, after doing the episode a few weeks ago about the benefits of doing a video podcast and Speaking with um, my clients and friends, Hannah and Nicole from Showing Up Solo, I attended their challenge a few weeks ago um, at the end of October and did the, um, it was called the Full Circle Content Challenge. And one of the challenges was to show up live. Um, I don't show up live a lot or on video. So that was interesting for me. And I I prefer just to show up on audio and then, you know, I can tweak it without any, um, all the ums and ahs and mistakes and things like that. But um, it was interesting and I did quite enjoy it. And I think for, you know, getting to know people better or people getting to know me better like showing up on video is always great so people can put a face to the name so yeah I decided to um dive in and do a video podcast I am recording this on Riverside Studio riverside.fm I've decided to um invest in a audio studio and they record video as well as the audio um it's something i've been thinking about for a while um i got some advice from rosemary calendar who's a fellow podcaster and yeah so i just thought i'd give it a try so i'll let you know in a few episodes and 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 how it's going give a little review of riverside.fm for those of you out there that are interested in trying a studio platform to record your podcast in So actually, after that little introduction, let's get back to the episode. Today, I'd like to talk about being a guest. Um, Not being a guest. I'd like to talk about looking for guests to be on your podcast. Let me just get my little notes up here. So when you're looking for guests to be on your podcast, um, I know when I started, I was a bit kind of like, well, where do I start? So let's just start with your audience. Start with who you're connected to and keeping your ideal listener or ideal client in mind, like who in your network would be good or good fit for your podcast. And have a little look at their audience. What does their audience look like? So if you have similar audiences or maybe they have an audience that you're trying to um, connect with and it's a great in so you can both benefit each other's audiences. So have a little look at those people who you do know and then you can start kind of like fanning out a little bit and having a little look at who they know. So the second contacts um, if you're on LinkedIn and maybe look at, you know, if they have a podcast or they've been on other podcasts have a little look at those and see whether they fit in with what you're doing that's really good research um and they all all those type of podcasts would be kind of on a par with what you're doing rather than trying to attain to go on something like you know some of those podcasts that are like lots and lots of viewers and listens and things that are are much harder with kind of celebrities or thought leaders and things that that possibly harder to get on. So have a little look at those. This is what I did myself looking for guests. Just keep going back and keeping your ideal client or your ideal listener in mind when you're looking for these people. 
and bringing them on your show. So what is it that they're going to, or what would you like them to talk about? How is it going to add value to your audience and talking about the subject that you want to talk about? So once you've kind of earmarked these people, you really want to try and make, you should be able to make a genuine connection with them. So you should obviously have something in common with them if they're, if they're talking about a common subject to what you're talking about. So just reach out and start engaging with them. Have a little look through their content. Like I said before about podcasts, you know, listen to the podcast they've been on or listen to their podcast. You want to try and start, as with anything, when you're trying to grow your connections as well, a genuine conversation, a genuine in, so you can start that relationship. Drop them a DM to say, I really like what you're doing. I loved your blog on this or listen to your podcast on this. I'd really love you to come in on my podcast and talk to my audience. Generally, a lot of people agree to coming on the podcast. I know some of the podcast hosts that I've interviewed for this show have said they've never had a no. So that is always encouraging. Um, it's always just nice to have that genuine connection with them though. So once they've agreed to be on, um, one little thing that I wanted to talk about as well is like the guest process, if you will. So what have you got in place or what steps have you got in place to, that you can make your um, make your guests feel as welcome as possible? I when a few months ago I spoke with Sadell Stewart and she has a really great kind of guest process and they want to make their guests feel have the best experience with them so um it might be interesting to go back and listen to that episode which i will link in the show notes and you can hear sadell's thoughts about that as well and so so i'll tell you a little bit about my guest process just so that it gives you an idea of what you could do um this can also be automated if you're into like no code stuff um use something like dubsado or airtable if you have a lot of guests coming on this would be quite a good idea to be able to automate some of these things and design templates and then add in the personalizations afterwards so once a person's agreed to come on my podcast i like to send them an email with some information on about the questions I'm going to be asking them and some little tips for recording. In my case, the people that are coming on my show are podcast hosts, so they probably wouldn't need those tips because they are aware of those kind of things themselves. But if for you guys, if yours is not specifically about podcasting, it's a really great idea to include some tips about how maybe some settings if you're doing it over Zoom or how they will get into the studio to record it or all those little things so you can make it as smooth as possible on the day. Make sure they get a calendar invite, make sure there's a link in there and uh, to to wherever you're recording. Um, I then like to send a little reminder out um, before the interview is going to happen just to make sure they're okay with everything and to resend the link just so that it's easy and fresh in their minds to be able to find it. And then after the show, I like to send out a little thank you and let them know when their episode's going to air. Don't worry if you don't know that at that point. I've already got my episodes planned out so I knew I know exactly when the episodes are going to come out. So um yeah, so I do that and then once I let them know that also I'm going to send some social media assets out to them. So I like to design a story and an audiogram and send that out to them a week or two before their episode goes live so that they can share that with their audience. This part is really important. I think you need to make it as easy as possible for them to share the podcast with their with their audience. Um, you can also offer... Um, perhaps to do the graphics in their brand colours so that it fits a bit in with more with their social media platform. And if you want some copy, you could also write some copy for them just so they can just copy and paste. And then it's really, really simple for them to do. It's just um, a nice thing to do to make them feel, have that really nice experience with you. Um, they don't, you don't want them to feel like they're, you know, 
oh, I couldn't find the link. Nobody told me anything. I didn't have any questions and all of those kind of things. That's not a really good impression to make. So I think that's a really nice um, kind of little process you can do there. Obviously, you tweak it to how you would like to have it and um, or improve upon it. I, I would love to hear if somebody has um, what kind of guest process you have yourself um, do you automate it and what do you use to automate it? I'm really interested in doing um, the automation side of things. So that is something that um, I'd love to hear from you guys about. I hope this episode has been helpful to you. And for those of you watching on YouTube, um, I'd love to have a little comment or a little like on my YouTube page and let me know what you think about doing a video podcast. Um, as ever, if you have any questions, please get in touch. And I do offer a 30 minute free session for people to come and talk to me about a question you might have about your podcast, or if you just want some practical advice um, that we can do within that 30 minutes, I'm also happy to do that as well. So I will leave a link in the show notes for you to book straight in my diary, and then we um, can, can do that appointment. So thanks for listening, and I'll catch you next time. Bye. Thanks so much for listening. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please like, share and subscribe. Your support means so much to me. If there's a question or topic you'd like covering, then I'd love to hear from you. Find the podcast on Instagram at Rachie Botfield and drop me a DM. Till next time. Bye.